Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews. Today, I got another bourbon review. This is, actually just uh, picked this up today. Um, I've seen this a few times, and uh, this is the first time I actually bought it. This is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So it's uh, uncut straight from the barrel without chill filtration. This batch is uh, batch number 520, uh, B520. Alcohol by volume 63.6%. And it's 127.2 proof. Um, so for the batch number, I guess B is the second batch. Uh, 5 is the month. And then 20 is the year. So uh, it's 12 years old, non-chill filtered. And um, it's actually received Whiskey of the Year a few times. And I'm surprised I haven't tried it yet. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack it open and go over the color with you guys. And I'm actually pretty excited to try this. Like I said, just got this. I uh, I typically like the regular Elijah Craig. It's pretty good, in my opinion. It's not too bad. It's worth the money. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this. Like I said, Whiskey of the Year. Um, I've seen some reviews from the other uh, year's releases. Got a Glen Karen here. Nice bottles. I kind of like the style of the older bottles a little bit, but these, they look good. I guess the label on this changed a little bit too. This barrel proof right here used to be black. I mean, it used to be uh, this color, and this used to be black. But uh, yeah, color of it. Nice dark caramel color, very dark. Definitely tell it's a barrel proof bourbon by the color of it. over the nose on the nose you do get a little bit of a uh, like an ethanol alcohol smell but you get lots of sweet fruits some caramel lots of caramel vanilla oak some brown sugar It smells very good, but it does smell very strong. Again, lots of spice on the nose. So with those fruits, I mean, I'm, get, I'm getting like the uh, like dried fruits. Not much nuttiness on the aroma like you normally get with like Heaven Hill products, like that peanut. It smells pretty good though. It smells very sweet. Um, but let's go for the taste on this one. Very rich flavor up front, caramel, vanilla. I'm actually kind of getting like a like a cherry. Lots of spice on the finish. That barrel proof spice. Um, mouthfeel is very like rich and velvety. Lots of thick. Um, Caramel, vanilla up front with that spice. Yeah, this is very good. They said it's a little hot. 63.6%. Um, I've seen that this is actually a little bit lower. Sometimes it's uh, around like 65%. Um, but I feel like once this actually, this bottle starts to open up, it's probably going to unveil a lot more of those hidden flavors more subtle flavors and you're probably gonna not be overpowered with the the rich caramel the vanilla along with the spice you get like a nice um like oaky dry finish actually gets better and better as you keep sipping it definitely a sipper i'm gonna go shooting this stuff i paid Seventy dollars for this, so I hear uh, it's like usually like sixty-five to eighty dollar range. So seventy dollars, right around a good price. This is really good. Got some water here. See if it opens up a little bit more.
On the nose, I'm getting a little bit more of that dried fruit. A little bit less spice. Caramel and the vanilla are very strong still. Lots of oak still. Taste. Getting that, that peanut, that nuttiness. Get more of that cherry actually with the water. It actually does open up pretty well. I'm getting a lot of the peanut. A lot of peanut along with the finish. Spice calms down just a little bit. I'm going to add a few more drops. Nice creamy vanilla. That brown sugar on the taste as well. Yeah, this is really good. I can see why people rant and rave about this. Um, definitely worth the money in my opinion. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more peanut. I'm get Every time I, I think about it, I'm getting a lot more peanut. And that cherry is opening up even more. This is really good. Um, before I say rating, I just want to show you guys. Found another bottle of Stag Junior. Paid a good price for this one too. It was, uh, you can see that. It was forty eight dollars. I know I've seen some people pay almost like a hundred bucks for a bottle of Stag Junior. So I was like, oh, we gotta grab it. Probably gonna do a comparison of this versus the Elijah Craig. Um, Stag Junior. I believe the one I had, the one I did the review on, was a little bit higher. It's like 66%. This one's 65, but still high. And uh, I actually found one of these the other day. This is uh, George Dickel, uh, Tennessee whiskey, bottled and bond, aged 11 years. Um, this is the 2020 edition, I believe. So it's the uh, it's an 11 year. Last year was, uh, I believe, a 13 year. I grabbed a bottle of this too. I actually drank a decent amount of this already, but I'm going to be doing a review on this. I know this isn't really new, but it came out this year. This is the Woodford Reserve Wheat Whiskey. But, uh, yeah, so you'll probably see some reviews on those two in the comparison with the Stag Junior. Um, but for rating for this one, I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to say this one is a... I want to say... I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I was going to give it a 9. Um, but... For what you're getting for the money you're paying, I mean, there are uh, $140 bottles of whiskey that I bought that are nearly as good as this. And this, for the money, is, is great. Um, the out of the barrel proof, I know a lot of people don't like hearing this, but I know a lot of people will buy barrel proof bourbons and make like cocktails and stuff. If that's your thing, you could do that. Um, this, you would have to use a lot less uh, whiskey in your cocktail. I know um, there used to be some guy. Uh, so seventy dollar range, it's around like a, de a good, a decent range for barrel proof. But the forty eight dollar barrel proof stag, there's just a big difference there, um, twenty two dollar difference. I know some guy was using that to make cocktails. Um, but yeah, it's it's great for the money. It's definitely a, a, an awesome sipper. Like I said, you can sit there, you can add water to it, and you can open it up as much as you like. And I'm gonna recommend it to you if you like the original Elijah Craig. Um, try out the barrel proof. Um, if it's too hot, if there's too much spice, if it's too strong for you, um, definitely add a little bit of water. Um, the astringency, the oak uh, dry finish might be a little too much for someone who drinks the irregular Elijah Craig. So that kind of dies off a little bit as well with the water and you get a little bit more of the fruits and the vanilla. Overall, this is a really good whiskey. Add a little bit more water. Big fan of this one. I really do like this one. Like I said, I'm going to do a comparison to Stag Jr. And uh, that's my thoughts on this. Um, if there's something else you guys like for me to review, definitely leave a comment. Help me reach 700 subs. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. So I need like a little bit over 300 to get to 1,000 subs. If you do that, that'd be awesome. Um, and yeah, if there's any other uh, kind of allocated uh, rare bottles that you want me to try that you've had and you haven't seen in my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what they are. Um, if I can find them in my area and they're affordable, um, I'll definitely pick them up. Um, I've been trying to get like the Pappy, Pappy Van Winkle and stuff. 
um, for a while now and I really haven't seen it. The only time I really have seen stuff like that, it's always way overpriced. It's over secondary market price. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Zinnia liquor beers are mainly uh, whiskeys that you guys like to see on my channel. Definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool videos. Liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.